Hi, this is Banger from epgstream.net. Now, today I'll be taking you through the process of setting up your TV guide for use with Windows Media Center. But before we start, make sure you've downloaded your XML TV guide pack, installed and configured it for your region. Uh, once you've done that, we should be ready to start. So head down to Tasks, Settings, TV, and Set Up TV Signal. Now, all Microsoft Windows Media Center is trying to say here is that um, if you're currently recording anything or watching live TV, it needs to stop that just so that it can use the tuners to scan for available channels later. So we'll click Yes to continue. Now, because we are in Australia, or at least I'm in Australia, I'm going to select Yes. Next. What Windows Media Center is trying to do right now is download a predefined list of channels for Australia. But unfortunately, Microsoft doesn't provide that type of service in Australia, so it's going to skip ahead to the setup guide listing. So we select that, and next. And we're ready to begin. So next. Now, the next two screens are a little bit funny, guide privacy and terms of service, because these screens apply to a native Microsoft Guide solution. But, as you know, here in Australia, we don't have any of those, so we have to use our own. For example, the XML TV Guide Pack. Um, so, the privacy statement and terms of service don't really apply, but we still have to answer yes to them anyway to get Media Center up and running. So, yes, and I agree. Now, enter your postcode. In my case, it's 2000. And next. Now, what's happening now is Windows Media Center is talking to the XML TV guide pack that you've installed to get the latest guide listings that it needs. And from this listing, it'll try and build a channel list and automatically match it to um, uh, TV channels it might find later on when it scans the airwaves for them. So we'll just give this a few seconds. And we're done. So we'll click Next. OK, now this part of the process might take a few minutes, but uh, due to the magic of uh, post-editing, I'll probably cut out all the boring bits, so it should progress fairly fast. What's happening now is uh, Windows Media Center is using your tuners to scan the area for available channels. It should pick up 7, 9, 10, ABC, SBS, all the usual suspects, but also a few digital audio channels, uh, such as ABC, um, or there's another one, but I can't quite think about it. Anyway, let's uh, skip ahead to 100% and uh, see how many services or channels um, my machine has found. Right, now the server scan is finished, we can see that I've got 34 services that have been detected. Each service can either be a digital TV channel or a digital audio channel. So we can scroll down the list and see what we actually ended up with. Uh, ABC, SBS, Prime, 7. Looks like everything I need for my region, including four digital audio channels, the SBS and ABC radio. So once we're happy with that, click Next. And we're done with the TV signal scan. All that's left now is to look at our guide and make sure it looks right, it's got the data that we want, and if we need to, we can rearrange the order of the channels as they appear in the guide. Select Finish and we should be able to head back to our main screen and have a look at our guide to see what it's looking like. So to do that, we'll just navigate back, head up to TV and Movies, and Guide. Now, in this guide listing, you should notice it broken into two parts. On the left-hand side, we've got our services, which we'd previously scanned. And on the right-hand side, we've got the guide data, which we've downloaded using our XML TV guide pack. Now, some of these channels have guide information associated with them. And I should be able to, say, pick a program, see the basic information for it. And we've got some channels which don't, so ABC and SBS in this case. Now, for some reason, and we can't work out why, sometimes Windows Media Center will automatically associate your channel. So if I just move over here, like say 10HD with the 10HD guide that's been downloaded. But in other cases, it won't. So when this happens, what we have to do is we have to manually add a listing 
uh, to a channel. So to do this, we head back to our Tasks, Settings, TV, Guide, and Add Listing to Channel. Now, before I do this, I'll just mute, which I already have, uh, just so we're not distracted. And I'll scroll down. I'll find ABC HD TV, which was a channel that didn't have a guide listing associated with it. And I'll look at the list of guide listings that we have and find the corresponding listing and add it. So ABC1, I'll find the corresponding guide. At the ABC2 channel, I'll find the corresponding guide. The ABC3 channel, I'll do the same thing. And we'll keep doing this for all the channels that we're missing guide information for. SBS2. And SBS News. Oh, there's also one other SBS channel I want to grab, which is channel 3. And SBS. Now, you might notice here that, um, that I've got some other channels, such as Prime or SC10 or Win TV that didn't have any guide data associated with it. Now, the reason why there's no guide data associated with it was during the XML TV guide pack or guide wizard setup, I didn't actually select that I wanted Win or Prime or SC10. So now that I've selected Prime HD and I try and add a guide listing to it, you'll find that um, Basically, there's no prime information here. If I want to add that, I have to rerun the guide wizard again and um, add that during that process. So now that I've added the channels that I need for ABC and SBS, I can save that. And I can head back to the main screen to look at my guide and see what it's looking like. So here, if we have a look, we've got ABC and SBS have added, been added. Now, the guide's looking kind of messy, so what I want to try and do here is try and organize them in, a, in an order that makes sense to me. So, for instance, I don't really watch SC10 or Prime, so I'll probably want to move them down in the list and have all my favorite channels up the top. So to do this, we have to head back to Tasks again. Tasks, Settings, TV, Guide, and we'll be changing the channel order. So this is what we need to select. Now, everybody's channel order, personal preference, is different. But mine is to have SBS, ABC, 7, 9, and 10 in that particular order, followed by HD channels. So using the change channel order functionality within Media Center, I simply just move the channels I want into the order that I want. So SBS is first, and I'll find SBS News. There it is. It can get a little bit repetitive after a while, especially since there are so many channels to scroll through and move to the top of the list. So SBS News, and then say, I'll move up ABC1, followed by ABC2. And 7 Digital. My guide should basically look like SBS, SBS News, ABC 1, 2, 7, 9, 10, and 10 HD. Just for this example, I've just put all my standard definition channels together. So we should be able to save that. And if we head back to the main screen, have a look at my guide, we should see it's in the order that I asked for. So from SBS at the top to 10 at the bottom, we can see all our guide viewing information all in one simple screen. 
So from 8.30 tonight, I can see what's on and work out whether I'll be home or not to, uh, to watch it. Or if I'm not going to be home, I can just record what I need to record. So there you have it. As simple as that, or maybe not. Um, anyway, if you've got any feedback for this video, or you're still having trouble, visit us at forum.epgstream.net. Station wagon cruising on the south of 16. Tapping on my brakes to the sound of my beats. I got the red lights clicking to the sound of the heat. Ain't no sample in the jinx, don't cheat. I'm feeling kind of charged, got a positive flow of cash. Can't tell my mood by the sound of this rap, so quit acting tight. Take a notch out your cap. Take a roll of fives and